Hoi hoi, Lynn Blin here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I painted Calcifer. If you're unfamiliar with the character, he is a flame that is in House Moving Castle. I don't want to spoil the movie for you, but you should really watch it, it's really good. I start off with using watercolour pencil. Um, I do this because it, um, like when I add water, it, it gets rid of the line work that I've used. So rather than, you know, lead, you, like using lead pencil when the, you know, the, the colour and the water doesn't really react very well. So I just find that that's super helpful. I did forget to press record for a short period of time there. So sorry that it jumped a little bit. I still really liked how this painting ended up though. So that's why I'm still making a time lapse out of it. You can see here that I've been using just the, the watercolour palettes. I don't like, um, I don't think they're like any brand or anything like that. It's just, you know, um, like a travel pack of watercolour palettes um, called, I think, like a paper mill or something like that. But yeah, I think you can grab it from any of your, your random hobby stores or anything. The paintbrushes that I used are just random miscellaneous um, miscellaneous paintbrushes. I just found them in my drawers. So after I was happy with the watercolour base, I moved over to gouache. I actually got a new set of gouache paints, so it was my first time trying it, hence the, um, what do you call it, like the, the lids, I guess, that I'm using to paint with, because, uh, yeah, they had plastic wrap on them, or like, I don't even know what that's called, but yeah, so I peeled the lid off and it had paint on it, so I just used that rather than, you know, sticking my brush in the tub and potentially cross-contaminating it. I really enjoy working with watercolour and gouache because the watercolour is a really nice, subtle, like, base tone, and then the gouache can really, you know, make it vibrant and push everything kind of out. Remember to change your water sometimes as well, because if you use dirty water, it'll get picked up in any of the lighter colors, like any of the lighter paints that you use. So especially like if you use like such a dark, like red or brown or anything like that, um, yeah, they just stay in the water. So it means that the, the light colors won't come out as vibrant as you'd probably like them to. I really like this painting, so I ended up actually auctioning the finished product, so <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was a thing that we did. We held a little auction, Just uh, I just sold a couple of my original little paintings, like this one. Um, I might do some in the future again, I think I've done two in total so far as I'm making this video, and they were received really well, so thank you again everyone that does support my artwork and just me in general and, you know, liking my content, so that's uh that's really kind of you and um yeah it's just awesome and keeps me motivated so thank you for supporting me oh yeah i guess <laughs> i need to stop watching kim possible <laughs> it's really hard to find like a happy medium for blending and layering so uh i did really kind of you know push the boundaries and really try and create a lot of depth in this painting so i hope it still looks like a flame uh, but I did, I did, yeah, like I said, I did really do a lot of layering. <laughs> so, yeah, I just gotta be careful with that because, you know, otherwise, if you do too much blending, it just kind of fuses together and it gets rid of all that, you know, pre, like the, all the work that you did, like the watercolor work. So, well, hopefully, you found this video helpful. Uh, if you guys ever have any questions or are curious about anything or want a particular painting done, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, I'm always happy to, you know, get recommendations and stuff. Obviously, it doesn't that like doesn't guarantee that I'll do them, but it's just you know potentially might inspire me to do something. So yeah, because obviously if I catered to every request, I would probably never sleep again. So. <laughs> but I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, yeah, so thank you. Just cool. Beans, I guess. So I'm deciding if I should keep in this part of the video where I take the tape off. I don't know if that's satisfying for other people, but to me it's like pretty rewarding. So I don't know. You guys can let me know if you don't care for it in the comments as well. <laughs> as always, thank you to my Patreon supporters for being the bee's knees. And thank you for watching my video.